is the Lunker City albino shad, and this is how I fish it. See it? Okay. Pretty much, uh, I fish it banjo style. Put a hook on it, quick screw it into the front. Just throw it out and slowly jerk it in. Okay. Usually what I do is I let it go sub uh, subsurface, and then I just jerk it in at all speeds, fast or slow. It tends to work. It's been, I've been catching uh, hybrids out here. And he's pulling it in like this. It's almost like a like top water action. Three twitch. Yeah. And then I, let, I give it like a one second pause. Anyways, I want to I want to show you guys the action of the fish too. Okay. Okay, it's go it's out there. You can kind of see the fish. It's a white lure, and you can see how it's swimming right now. It's just side to side. To side. Mm -hmm. it's pretty sexy. That's what catches the attention of the fish. It looks like a dying minnow or a dying shad. See, it's right here. Fish nuts and they go. Hmm. Cool thing about this uh, setup is if you're using a white lure or a white plastic, you can actually see it. And a lot of times, you can actually see the fish hit the lure too. This setup is deadly on all predatory fish. <laughs> We've been fishing this rig, what, 10 years? Yeah. Something like that? Ever since the banjo came out. Yeah, thanks to the banjo mineral fishing system. <laughs> we couldn't afford it, so we made our own. That's right. As you can see, that's a really, really good action on that, that lure. Largemouth bass, they are, uh, they're a sucker for this. Largemouth. Stripers. Yeah, stripers are a sucker for this too. If you give it a pause, that's what triggers the attack. Mm hmm. And for the setup, just the weight of the lure, you're, that's what you're casting with. Mm -hmm. And this setup's not that bad. You can cast pretty good with it. You could, you could fish it right under the surface like we are demonstrating right now or you could even uh, let it dive all the way to the bottom work and off. work it off the bottom too just like any of your uh, worms and things like that it's a good setup it's an all-around setup twitch it let it go all the way down twitch it mm -hmm. It works best for waters that are uh, not deeper than 10 feet. If it's deeper than 10 feet, then you might want to put a, like, uh, an egg sinker right on the hook itself. Yeah. Or a split shot sinker. Hit right on the shore too. I saw that, I saw that. I don't mean, little, little guy. Not too big, but he's still putting up a good fight. Oh, look at this. Hybrids. In December. Oh, we were just talking about it too. Bam. On the line. Oh, I'm going to have to uh, post a picture for Too Perfect. <laughs> he just <laughs> saw me and he's like, yeah. post a picture. So here it is. Wow, look at that. There it is. Nice. Oh, let me do this. Let me do this. <laughs> Hold up. All right. We're gonna let this one go. It's not exactly our uh, size we want. It's still a good size though. Look no at doubt. Size. 
still like a 20, probably a 21 inch hybrid. All right, y'all, so we just got another hit on the Lunker City. Oh, we just got another hit right there. Do you got to reel it a little slower, man. Another reel. Calm down a little bit. Calm down a little bit. I'll put the camera on you right now. <laughs> 